every single day, hordes of your prospects log into Facebook, Twitter, Google+, LinkedIn, and all the other social media platforms. In some cases, they interact and chit-chat multiple times a day on the site. That means all you have to do is set up a presence on these platforms and start siphoning visitors back to your own website. You ever heard about those guys who would steal gas from older cars? They got a long hose, dropped it in the tank, sucked the other end really hard, and soon the gas from the tank is flowing freely and willingly into the thief's waiting gas can. Now that's what you're going to do with social media traffic. You're going to get traffic flowing freely and willingly to your waiting mailing list, except there's a big difference. This is all legit and 100% legal, unlike stealing gas. Now, the awesome thing about social media sites is that they're naturally viral platforms. I'm sure you've seen this for yourself if you spend any time at all on these sites. For example, someone posts a funny cat video or meme on Facebook, and suddenly it has tens of thousands of shares. I mean, seriously, people really love their cat videos, don't they? The second thing to know is that some social media sites, most notably Facebook, offer paid advertising. This is another great way to reach your audience, but we won't be covering that in this video. For now, we're going to focus on the free options for finding your audience on social media platforms. Specifically, we're going to focus on Facebook, since it has a large number of people who log in daily. And they also offer you multiple ways to reach your target audience. However, once you're set up on Facebook, then get on Twitter as well. You might also consider other platforms, such as Google Plus and LinkedIn, as part of your overall social media strategy depending on if you think your audience is reachable on those platforms. I mean, if your audience is made up of white-haired grandmas, then they're probably not sending eyebrow-raising photos over Snapchat. So you can forget about that one, you know? Do a little market research and use some common sense to figure out where your market actually hangs out. So first things first, you'll need to register for a free Facebook account if you don't already have one. And then you can set up a Facebook page as well as a group. And we'll go ahead and talk about each one of these separately. The first way to reach your audience is to set up a Facebook page for your business. Look, setting up a Facebook page is pretty painless. Just go to the URL that I'm about to put on the screen here. There it is. HTTPS colon backslash. Never mind. You just go ahead and type that into your browser, okay? And then you just follow the prompts to set up your page. Be sure to completely fill out your page's profile with your about information an avatar, and a cover photo. Next, you want to invite your existing prospects and customers to like the fan page. The reason for this is to start getting some interaction going with the page. There's no sense in having your page looking like an abandoned ghost town, because naturally, folks like to go where the action is. And since Facebook is naturally viral, you can post memes, videos, inspirational quotes, infographics, and other similar content. Just be sure to encourage your fans to like it, and better yet, to share it on their Facebook walls. Also be sure your web link is attached to all of your content. The next thing to do is to create a tab on your Facebook page where your fans can sign up for your mailing list. Most of the bigger third-party email service providers like Aweber make this really easy by providing an app for this. Check with your own ESP for specific instructions on how to include an opt-in form on your Facebook page. Now, while it's great to chit-chat with your prospects on Facebook, what you really want to do is siphon them off of Facebook to your own mailing list and website. That way you control your traffic. Another good reason for this is because Facebook only shows your page post to a small number of your fans. If you want all your fans to see your post, you need to pay Facebook to boost your post, which totally stinks, I know. So, tell you what, don't even bother paying to boost regular posts. Yeah, you might consider paying in order to get your fans to see a special offer where you give them something valuable in exchange for their email address, but don't pay for regular posts. Now, listen to this. A free and better way to get your lead magnet in front of as many people as possible is to get your fans and visitors to share the opt-in page for you. One super cool way to do this is by using an app called Social Share Monkey, which unlocks a gift for your visitor when they share your content with their friends on Facebook, Twitter, or Google+. Another tool you can use is Rafflecopter, which gives your visitors an entry into a prize draw for each specific task they complete. These are things like joining your mailing list or sharing your contest with others on social media. So, in sum, Social Share Monkey and Rafflecopter are great tools for expanding both your Facebook page likes as well as your mailing list. Now let's look at the other method for reaching your audience on Facebook. 
The second major way to reach your audience is to set up a Facebook group. This group isn't about your business, okay? It's not overtly promotional. Instead, it's about creating a discussion around some topic of interest in your niche. Yeah, I know, you'd probably get about a bazillion members if you set up a group about funny cats, but you want to make sure to keep it relevant to your niche, okay? For example, if you sell weight loss materials, then you'd set up a discussion group about how to lose weight. Here in your group, you can post weight loss tips, articles, videos, inspirational messages, memes, and other things. Be sure to also ask questions and post topics which foster discussion. Again, remember, this isn't an overtly promotional group. You gotta flip the switch to stealth mode and fly under the radar for a while, you know what I mean? Just keep it on the down low, okay? Now, another great thing is that this group is gonna help you establish your expertise in the niche. Secondly, you'll be able to build your mailing list from the group by offering free resources such as reports, videos, and apps in exchange for email addresses. And finally, you may run into potential affiliates and joint venture partners in your group. You can also join their groups to start building relationships. Meeting just one or two good marketing partners in these groups can make a huge difference in your business. Okay, so these are the basics of getting started on social media. Again, SocialShareMonkey and RaffleCopter.com are terrific tools for increasing your mailing list and social media presence. Go ahead and check out the resource section on the site to learn more about these awesome tools before moving on to the next video.